Hello everyone, a new in try on haul this week. I've got some lovely new outfits to share with you and a new brand that I'm over the moon with and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Yeah, there's some nice pieces, nice new bits in here. One of the items actually came through the post about half an hour ago and I didn't even know it was coming. It's a surprise package from Balkian to thank me for the video that I did a couple of weeks ago and I'm so glad so many of you enjoyed that film. I was dubious about doing it but everyone loved it. I'm going to leave it linked down below anyway so they've sent me a new item. I'm actually wearing Balkian today. Um, yeah let's get into it anyway. I'm Laurie by the way, hello. I'm a fashion, beauty and lifestyle blogger, stroke vlogger at Vanity and Me for the more mature woman. I'm now 60. I still can't get used to saying that, but hey. Um, yes, I'm five foot two and a size 10 to 12 for reference. So I'll leave all the sizes uh, in the description box along with the items so you'll know what size I'm wearing. So yes, everything's linked down below, as is my special offers as well. I've got lots of special offers going on at the moment, so it's always worth checking those out as well. Christmas is coming, isn't it, ladies? I've just said the word Christmas. Oh my goodness. And it is pitch black outside today. It's raining. It's dark. The clocks have just gone back. It's horrible. And here comes the sad syndrome for me. I absolutely hate it. So I've had to put a light on today. We'll just have to bear with it. There's nothing I can do. Anyway, let's get on. This is what I'm wearing today. The new Balkan shirt with the frilled collar and the little puff sleeve. And I was actually going to pair these with the maroon um, H&M trousers. Yes, I did keep those trousers from that hole. But it just didn't quite look right. So I've paired it with uh, Marks and Spencers, uh, I think these are called Magic Jeans, they're boot cut Magic Jeans, I absolutely love them, I love the fit of them, uh, they were too long for me, I've just kept the hem, and today I've got tan uh, court shoes on that are not quite high enough to wear with these jeans, I might actually put some boots on, I've got all my new I've got all my knee-high boots to hand, but no ankle boots. They're all in the loft, and I need to do that wardrobe switch over now, I think. But there's a new accessories haul coming, and I've got some beautiful pieces. I can't wait to share them. That will be in the next film. So, yes, I've got tan court shoes on. Not quite high enough for these jeans, but hey-ho. Uh, Holland Cooper tan belt i absolutely love this belt and jewelry i've got the lola rose cube watch on i've worn this in the last couple of films it's a beautiful watch uh earrings <laughs> these were mums these were mums from the, i think they're from the 70s or early 80s and i stole them out of I've got a big jewellery box with all mum's pieces in, you know, like costume jewellery. And I see these in there and they're so on trend now. I thought, I'm going to start wearing them. So I did. Uh, I'll see if I can link something similar below, actually, because there's so many types of this earring about at the moment. Uh, Monica Veneda friendship bracelet with the topaz. I don't know what the dark dark blue is actually but yeah the light blue is topaz and I thought I'm not going to stop wearing it it's a very summery type bracelet isn't it but I thought no I'm going to try and continue to wear that I think it pairs great with denim as well so yeah still wearing that one so let's get into it and I'm going to share with you this new brand which is Joni Clothing. Now I came across Joni Clothing on Instagram and the first thing I spotted, which really made my day, was that Laura Ashley are doing a collaboration with them. Now, in my blogging career, I've 
always worked with Laura Ashley. Absolutely loved the brand. And they just faded, didn't they? They just faded. I know you can still get their homeware on next, and I, I still do buy some of their homeware. I love Laura Ashley. So when I saw this collaboration, I thought, I have got to get my hands on a piece of that. And this is the first item. It's a uh, really Laura Ashley style as well. It's like their old, you know what they used to make in the 70s? And it's beautiful, this blouse. You've got a frilled collar. Lace details in here. Frill down the sleeves. It pans round to the front there. And it's, would you call, what is this material called? Is it called a Dobby material? I'm sure it's called Dobby. But yeah, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Really, really pleased. You've got a really deep cuff on this blouse. That is how deep the cuff is. Really nice and deep. I might have to move the buttons over. But look at that detail. Absolutely gorgeous. I will wear a camisole under this most probably. But it's going to look great under jumpers, isn't it? Or cardigans now. I just absolutely love it. I like this little detail down the back as well. I don't know if that's going to show with my hair. But yeah, lovely with jeans. Really, really pleased with this. But I didn't realise how good Joni clothing is either because I saw things on there that I really liked as well. And this is the first item and it's really leery for me. Quite a loud piece for what I would normally wear ladies but if, if you've been following me for some time you will know that I've got the odd loud piece in my wardrobe I do like a loud shirt especially if it's something a little bit different uh, my artichoke, artichoke shirts they're all quite vibrant and patterned and yeah I spotted this and I thought I love it and you know what I really like about this? It's so on trend. Look how long the collar is. This deep pointed collar. And I think this is called the mushroom shirt. Can you see the mushrooms in the material? I was really dubious but I love the colours. Look at these autumn colours in here. And it fits like a dream. An absolute dream very well made stitching is beautiful again you've got quite a deep cuff on this one as well there you go that's where the cuff starts straight at the back but look at the colors in there this is going to look great with black jeans brown jeans tan anything tan it's just going to pair with a lot of things, I think. I think black would be my preference. I might try it on with black today. But yeah, really, really like it. It's just really different. And this collar, I just can't get over that that's how long the collar is. It's just really lovely. Very well made. Quite weighty. And it's got a nice little nip in the waist as well. But I think this is my favourite piece. And boy am I going to wear this a lot. This fleece cardigan. Look at this. And let me tell you, it's a jacket. It's a proper jacket as well. It's all lined inside. But it's very, very padded. I don't know if it's got quilting inside. It feels like it's got some sort of quilting inside really really warm you've got contrasting brown buttons straight up and down at the back this is just going to pair with so much i think this would look great with cream denim i wear quite a lot of cream denim and i like my light colors in in the winter you know um you've got a nice finish on on the cuff there but i always prefer to turn that sort of cuff up nice deep pockets just a really lovely cozy piece i'm not 
I'm not going to want to take this off. I, I can see me wearing this with my pyjamas when it's really cold. It's just such a lovely piece. Um, I got this in a size UK small. I've gone for a small in this one. Beautiful. I love it. I hope it's washable. I didn't even think about that. Yes, it's washable on a 30 as well, so that is an absolute bonus. Because of the colour, obviously, I think something like this you need to be able to put in the machine. Yeah, really, really pleased with the Joni clothing anyway, especially the Laura Ashley piece. And next, don't know if you remember this, ladies. This is the dress from the Damar press day that I fell in love with they've just kindly sent me this and all I can say is I'm sure that at the moment Ralph Lauren are doing something nigh on identical and it's most probably about three or four times the price of this one and I bet you the quality is not really any different either but I fell in love with this dress at the press day like I said it's beautiful this print with the would you call it red it's not quite red yeah i guess it is red and navy you've got hints of orange in there it's just a, a really really lovely piece it's lined in navy you've got a self-tie belt with this one it's just a flimsy belt i would most probably like to put either a black belt with this or tan and I got I sized up in this one I got I got size 12 because I wanted it to be floaty and balloony and I'll most probably put a cardigan over this later um, maybe a long cardigan it's gonna look nice with a navy jacket as well just notice you've got a nice frilled detail on the drop sleeve there yeah, a really, really lovely piece. Frilled collar, my favourite, as you know. Yeah, love it. Really, really pleased. Elasticated waist. And you've got one tier at the bottom. Yes, very pleased with that. Now, this is my surprise item that just literally came from the postman about half an hour ago. I was all set up and ready to go. This came in the post and I thought I've got to iron this because I have got to share it straight away. It's so beautiful. I think this is gonna be a sellout. Now, these long skirts with the split up the front, there's so many denim ones, isn't there? They're so on trend at the moment. And this is a black one. And I thought, it's just perfect absolutely perfect you can wear this day or night i'm going to style this with a jumper and i'm also going to style it with my new balkan top i think because that is going to create such a lovely evening look i don't know if i've got any evening shoes out to share this with i might pair it with boots i'm not sure but yeah the fit um if you've watched that balkan film one of the things I did say is that their tailoring is impeccable and this fits me like a glove. Whoever cut the pattern for this skirt is very clever because it absolutely fits like a dream. It's a grown on waistband, you've got no belt loops, zipped at the back and this is where the split goes to. There you go. It's not lined, but I don't, the material's lovely and thick. I don't think you need to line it. My only query is, I'm not sure, um, if I wear knee-high boots, I think I would still have tights on as well. I know a lot of the girls, you know, these younger girls, they like to show all their leg. I'm not about that. Uh, I've tried it on. The split isn't too high either. So, but I think I would still pair this with my black tights and boots. Yeah, really, really pleased with it. Beautiful piece. Right now, this is my first Zara purchase. 
I bought this I don't know if I've shared this with you before I'm sure I haven't when I did the weekly vlog and I went into Zara I bought this there's a bow hair on there and I thought you know they're still so on trend aren't they the uh, waistcoats and I think these are going to make a nice warm layering piece through the winter so I mean you could pair that over this dress and I think it's going to look good I love that boho look I think with jumpers over the top of jumpers yeah I just thought I'll give it a try and see how often I style it up but you know on its own for a night out put some jewellery on layer up some nice gold jewellery a belt some smart trousers I think that's good for going out as well or even a silk blouse I've got a couple of nice silk blouses from Lily Silk that I could wear under this and I think it'll look good it wasn't expensive I think I paid £29 for it pretty sure and the tailoring's really good I am pleased with it need to go and do that Zara try on don't I right um, next the film that I did before, S Deer, now I was very pleased with their items. They asked me if I'd like a couple of new items. And this was one of those items that I picked up. It looks really unusual on the hanger, but I love it on. And if you remember in the artichoke hole, uh, I tried that Lurex top on and I really liked it. But unfortunately, Sarah sold out of those tops. I don't know if she's got any more back in yet. But yeah. I spotted this and I thought I love it it's really different I love this sleeve detail you know it's got a lot of movement in it and ribbed and I don't know if that's picking that up but it is a gold lurex it's quite short in the body so this is gonna ruche over your trap it's gonna just hang over your trousers nicely I like the neckline really really lovely piece I think this is going to be good for Christmas you could actually wear a long sleeve t-shirt under this as well I think and it will still look good but yeah I'm going to pair this with some nice black trousers and see what that looks like yeah really pleased with that and I've got a second item from um, S Deer as well and I chose this and ladies let me tell you this fits me like a glove in that Estia try on haul that I did I it's a Estia is a French brand and they cut things a little bit different I think to UK brands because I don't know what it is but everything that they've sent me makes my waist look smaller it's just cut to perfection and I spotted this and I thought that will make a nice going out top. I like this pleating detail on the sleeve. It's very hard for you to say. Very, very plain, elegant though, top. And you've got these buckle details at the side. Puff sleeve, uh, you would call these pre-quarter sleeves I think, but on me they're going to be nearly to my wrist. So yeah really lovely it zips up at the front and the back but I think it's beautiful you've got this peplum waist maybe it's that but you'll see in the try on you're going to think oh Laura you look like you've lost weight because I do look like I've lost weight in this top it fits so well really really pleased with that right now the new cyber jammies. I did actually unbox these with you ladies, but I thought I'll give them an iron and a good try on. I love my cyber jammies, and I think what you wear around the house, more for your own feel good factor, is just as important as what you're going to wear when you step out the door. I like to wear good loungewear for the feel good factor, and these are beautiful. They feel like silk. I think these are called their jersey pyjamas, but they literally feel like um, a heavy silk. They're so soft. 
these have got trousers but they're like jogging trousers so you've got on the hem if I can find it you've got the ruched ankle on these I can't tell you how soft they are they're beautiful and I love this yellow piping contrasting piping and you've got yellow buttons and tie on on the waist here as well. you've got a lovely green camisole with this and then you've got the floral trousers underneath as well comes with a belt to tie and this is long whereas my pink pair of silky pajamas from you livery it was a three-quarter jacket it came to about here but what a beautiful print look this is when you've got the heating cranked up though of course so it's when you're having one of those bougie nights in often we play board games you know and have a couple of drinks and it's just nice to be comfortable and feel nice in your pajamas yeah i love them really really lovely i like this contrast as well on the cuff you've got tie cuffs the only thing i will say with this brand is they don't put pockets in and i do not know why that is i've even emailed them and said can you put pockets in your pajamas i don't like not having pockets but other than that beautiful right the items i kept from h&m <laughs> that was a hard haul because I really wanted to keep it all and obviously as I said I kept the dress uh, I might I, shall I refilm this today I guess I will but yeah I'm going out to dinner actually so I might even wear this to dinner I have a new navy belt so I might try it paired with that. A few of you said oh you don't need a belt on with that lorry but I just felt like I did. But this is a beautiful dress from H&M if you've not seen the whole. It's got a grown on neck. It's like I think they call it plissé, plissé material but it fits like a dream. It's a fit and flare knitted dress but very lightweight. So, and it's a little bit see-through ladies so I do wear a long black full slip under this but yeah I was really pleased with that I also kept the plaid shirt now so many of you know me so well because you all said keep the cream shirt or the oatmeal coloured shirt because it's very you uh, and you was right it is very me and out of the two I would say that I preferred that oatmeal shirt but I already have a few shirts like that I looked in the wardrobe and I thought I've got other shirts just as good why would I need to keep that one so I went for the navy plaid because I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I think it's going to pair beautifully with these jeans that I've got on as I wore it in the H&M haul yeah or even your skinny jeans with the cream roll neck underneath I think this is lovely and it's got a cosy feel to it I really like it so yeah that was the other item that I kept and then the Marks and Spencers haul I only kept one item from that haul I could have kept more but I was very good I was very good and this is the item that I kept the blue shirt I just think it's so pretty it's very similar to the design of this shirt and I just love anything like this with jeans so easy to wear with your jeans camisole underneath to keep warm yeah and I love it really really pleased with that So that's it ladies that was quite a quick one wasn't it i hope you like all the new pieces let me know what your favorite one is i'm sorry about the lighting i hope this film's going to come out okay 
but yeah I'd love to hear your thoughts especially on this Joni clothing let, let me know your thoughts on that as I said everything will be linked down below in the description and if you enjoyed the film please as always give a thumbs up it means so much to me and of course if you're new here and you, you've enjoyed the film please subscribe I'd love that as well I've got an accessories haul coming up next ladies and I think you're going to really like it so I hope you'll join me for that anyway love to you all I'll see you in the next one